uh, going on this year. We've got the Great Crusade, that'll be taking us up to October, then we've got Ulanar, uh, and then we've got um, Murder and also um, a special campaign uh, featuring the Harad. Um, but what I wanted to bring to your attention um, was this little fella. Uh, and for those of you who know him, that's one of the original Games Workshop Dreadnoughts. Now, I was really lucky to get hold of this. A friend of mine had one, and he was selling it for someone. And I went, I'll have it. Because you cannot turn this down. It's a beautiful piece of uh, modeling. I know it's stumpy. I know a lot of you are going to go, but that's a really naff Dreadnought. But in fact, it's actually a really beautiful Dreadnought. And uh, for me, it's beautiful because we can use these in the campaign. And they're a special kind of Dreadnought. Um, and for those of you that remember them, they were the Battle Armour Dreadnought. And uh, they have a special name. And there was Chuck, Eddie and Fury. And this is the Fury Bundus class Dreadnought, uh, which was the Hotshot Laser. Uh, I think it was Hot or Shades, I'm not, not too sure. And then Power Fist with bolters, two bolters. Um, and I've got to say, I am chuffed to bits to own this. Um, we brought them into the campaign. They have uh, weapon skill five. Let me just get my iPad up so I can see it all. Uh, weapon skill five, ballistic skill five, strength five, uh, uh, front arm is 11, side arm 11, rear arm 11, initiative four and two attacks. Uh, and they get a special rule, which is uh, um, same as the contempt of shielding, uh, which I think is a Tomanac. Atomic, is it atomic? I'm not too sure. I can never remember. Shielding, neurofibral bundles, uh, bundles, sorry, and uh, move through cover. Um, and they are just lovely. Now, if I just bring this up a bit so you can see it, it had this like cat like or lion like features to it, um, which I'm going to put back in there. Um, obviously, I've painted it in my in my special colours because, let me just move the lamp over so you can see everything, uh, because obviously in Peel Fist I've got to have one and the idea is that these are, these are like, um, just like every other um, Dreadnought made for the heroes of the chapter that have fallen in battle, those honoured um, fallen that basically get put into there. Uh, just to give you a size comparison, uh, if that's a uh, uh, I've got no dreadnoughts to hand, all my other dreadnoughts are packed away, my Black Templar army is all packed away at the moment. Um, but you can see that next to a Contemptor, it's pretty tiny. But the nice thing about it is, next to a Marine, it's still quite large. So you can just get some sort of scale there. So that's actually quite cool. So I was chuffed to bits to get hold of that, uh, because we brought them into the game. Um, and uh, there's three versions of it. One of them even has a jump pack fitted into it. Um, so yeah, well happy. Beautiful model, and I hope I can do it some justice when we're painting it. Okay guys, so I've got some more surprises for you, and I'll speak to you later.